Hey guys, it's Webb. Today is post op five. <laughs> um, it's been a roller coaster ride. I can't believe I'm already five days on the other side of the hump. Um, the pain has been been manageable, but it's been pretty bad. Right now, I'm in between a six and a seven. Um, a lot of sharp, stinging pain by the incision areas, and of course, the areas that were lipo really are burning. Um, I had the Foley catheter taken out yesterday, which was, I never thought I'd be so happy to have a Foley catheter, but oh boy, it came in so handy not having to jump up and run to the bathroom because you don't jump up and run after a, an abdominoplasty, you, um, you waddle in a 45 degree angle. <laughs> um, the hardest thing is the back pain and it, because of the bending over and the trying to drink a glass of water or trying to do anything without a straw is a trip. Um, so we discovered lots of straws. The itching from the, the prescription uh, pain medication is un, almost unbearable. It's, I take a pain management medication and then I take Benadryl and then I take uh, prednisone, so it's steroids. <laughs> um, because of the itching, it, it, my whole body's on fire, it seems like. Um, apparently I was allergic to the tape that they used. This wasn't my first surgery. And after the, the, the previous surgeries and expressing to them that I had woke up during surgery, during the procedures and could describe what I saw to the anesthesiologist on Friday, he put on what they call a brain wave monitor. And it was taped on to my forehead. They could actually see what state my brain was in and how much activity was was going on um and then i don't know what was on my face besides a mask but it looked like something had been set on my nose for a couple hours when i woke up it was a red line well now it just looks like i've been out in the sun and and i haven't been out in the sun at all but it's definitely got rosy cheeks from where the the mask was and where the the tape was on the face um it's been a trial. Um, tips and tricks that I have learned over the, the course of time before, you know, prior to getting the procedure done and during my experiences of the procedure, um, they said no showering and everybody said, oh, use these baby wipes. And I'm thinking, why would you use baby wipes when you can use your own washcloth and your own soap and just do like a sponge bath and do your PTA? <laughs> and if you don't know what a PTA bath is, you might want to look that up. Um, it's the top and the bottom and everything in between, but it's done with the washcloth instead of, I couldn't imagine using baby wipes. Oh my gosh, no way. Um, keep it simple. Lots of boost, liquid proteins, lots of water. Keep hydrated. They're going to hydrate you quite a bit in the emergency or not emergency room, in the procedure room anyway, during, through IV therapy. Um, and keep your drains clean. Um, I go back Friday to get the drain taken out and see how much longer I've got until I can get the stitches out. But it is literally amazing. It's, it's hip to hip and it's super tight. So enjoy it. Thanks for the encouraging words and the compliments. I appreciate them both. Until then, God's peace. Bye.